is Dmitry Sekalov. I am third year doctoral student at GSO. Uh, my research is in a human resource management topic. I previously had a background in human resource management and psychology. And now my topic is, uh, well, it, it is about innovative and digital human resource management practices. My name is Peggy. Uh, I am a second year PhD student. I am at the marketing department and my topic is about consumer behavior in uh, electronic mobile and social commerce and I am trying to understand how this personalized, uh, personalized approach uh, to the consumers is working, what are the benefits, drawbacks and I'm currently developing more narrow maybe road to that to understanding. <laughs> I, I don't think there is a difference in, in time, in 2020 or in 2019. There are always people who strive to research and there are always need to research because we need to develop as a society. So in 2020 we need a doctoral program just as well as in 2019. And yes, that's true. And also uh, it's like really rapid changes, there are always rapid changes around us in the world and when you're at the PhD studies you have a lot of access to plenty of people and information and you can gain like numerous contacts uh, during the conferences while you are writing your thesis when you write, uh, so you can gain lots of information when you're working, working on your thesis, when you're going to the conferences, when you conduct researches and it's always a very good thing and also in 2020. You really need to have a strong desire for that because it's a hard work, at least for three years, and you need uh, a very like good reason which will keep you going throughout all of this. Um, also, you need a lot of time and the limited amount of destruction because you need to work on something which really takes a lot of effort. And your topic, even if you like it, you still need to work a lot. And there are few exams required, right? What is it? English yes. and, yes, and yes. economics and management. Um, so not only yes. desire, <laughs> but, but yes, I agree. My opinion is the, the most important thing is critical thinking and natural curiosity. Well, first of all, you need to understand what you are interested in personally. After that, you select uh, a supervisor from the GSOM uh, list of scientific supervisors and then you talk to them, you understand what, what are the common ground be between you two and once you understand what it is, then you can go on and work on like this agreed upon topic because when you work on this mutually beneficial topic, you can be um, also um, invited to the current programs and current projects and research of your scientific supervisor. Well, I think, well, my personal opinion is yes. I know it is a debatable question in our doctoral program at JSOM, but my personal opinion is yes, but uh, you need to be a researcher in a broader sense, because research is in a sense a very uh, soft skill, right? So doctoral program allows you to get this uh, skill uh, and then it's up to you how to, how to, what to do with it. First half of PhD studies is certainly, uh, or doctoral studies, is certainly uh, courses because there are different students from, with different backgrounds. So it's important to teach them uh, more or less, uh, uh, like bring them to the common ground in terms of uh, understanding of economics, management, and other um, other skills of, of uh, theory building, theory development, and these sort of things. Of course we work because it is what doctoral program is about, <laughs> but uh, we are not recommended to work outside for industry, for business, uh, but at the same time we, we don't have 
to work, right? Because we have the scholarship that allow us to survive somehow. Uh, and there are other funding options for, from research grants or different other sources. So yeah, we are not recommended to work, but we don't have to work. Yes. But we work a lot <laughs> yes, because at the same time. Absolutely, you conduct research, collect data, make experiments, if you make experiments. You participate in grants, you try to also practical training uh, with, with the teaching. So there is like, you write articles a lot, you have to. Uh, so I believe that there is like a lot of things you are doing and it will certainly takes, takes as, much as, effort, as much effort as the work, actual work does. So it is a work. So I don't think if you like have We are not than, the richest people in the world. <laughs> For but, now, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but we are able to survive for three years yes. <laughs> because of our scholarship. So. Yes, uh, for me it was interesting because it's in English and I really wanted to, you know, go to the like, international arena of the academic research and there is like a lot of connections so you can always talk to uh, some, to different partners. Um, they're like, uh, there's access to plenty of databases, books, a lot of stuff you can use to like broaden up your work. Also, uh, you can participate in the conferences. There is also a grant for traveling for everything. Every student receives it. Well, <laughs> we after the grad the graduate program, we become full-pledged researchers, so we are able to work in universities, in business schools as lecturers and researchers. Uh, we also can apply for postdoc positions. We don't have one in uh, GSOM, but uh, there are many other programs in uh, foreign universities, so th there is a good option. Uh, maybe the, the short answer is you continue to develop your <laughs> doctoral research because no research topic is ever developed enough, right? One of the best things about doctoral program is academic freedom, but it is also the worst part because mm -hmm. you need to understand how to live with that. So it is, I think it's called <laughs> academic <laughs> entrepreneurship also. So yeah, you, are, you work for yourself. Yes, the, uh, in the first year you have a lot of classes and exams, but then you are like you are productive just as you are able to uh, to do with your time. Yes, certainly. That's why you need to have a plan and some sort of discipline, and try not to get distracted. But yeah, if you can. <laughs> so, but anyway, yeah, I think that's that's, one, that's pretty much it. So good luck if you want to join us. <laughs>